In our area, black flies usually emerge the third month of May, with mosquitoes following closely behind. So Mary, they are the bane of people who enjoy the outdoors. What can we do starting first thing in the morning when we get up to help us get rid of those black flies and mosquitoes attacking us all day? They are a nuisance for sure. And one of the things they love are really nice smelling shampoos and soaps and body washes. So actually out on the market now, there are some soaps and shampoos and body washes that are designed to repel mosquitoes. Uh, carbolic acid soap is one of the most effective. And then there are other products that have some natural essential oils that the bugs just don't like. So these products are pretty safe for us. We don't really have to worry about it being a full-on insect repellent. That's right. I know uh, one customer came in one day and was telling me that she'd left her insect repellent on the uh, vinyl tablecloth and it had melted right through. And so you can take any of these products and it won't do that to your tablecloth or to your skin. Now you have one that you can actually take orally. It's a homeopathic that you saw featured on the Dragon Stand. What is that? It's called Mozzie Q and it's actually uh, for pets and for humans. And it's a homeopathic remedy that's all plant-based. It's gone through a series of dilutions and you actually ingest it. And the plants that are in it have been proven to repel insects. So when you uh, take it about a half hour before you go outside, you'll see that the bugs will come up to you and then they'll just back off. And how often should you reapply? Well, for uh, insect repellents, it depends on your level of activity. If you're perspiring profusely, you're going to have to reapply frequently. If you're in the water, in and out, you're going to have to reapply. Um, and some of them just have different properties. Because they're in a little bit of an oil base, they tend to last a little longer. And what can we do about the yard to maybe reduce the amount of mosquitoes in the yard? Well, mosquitoes love to hang around in the foliage and cedar trees. And of course, you have to be careful what you spray on your trees so that it's friendly to the plants, friendly to the environment, and friendly to your pets. So there are some products that you can use in your yard. They have neem in them. And neem actually is a great insecticide, but it's safe for humans, it's safe for pets, it's used in skin care, and you can use neem soap and shampoos as well. So this springtime, don't let mosquitoes and black flies keep you indoors. For Gosu St. Marie, I'm Ann Gordonaire.